Well, I'm putting the uh, pegs into the joints now. I've got some uh, quarter inch doll stock that I made uh, from uh, maple some time ago. And uh, I've got them marked where I want to drill. And uh, I'm going to put them in about an inch and a quarter, I think, uh, into the joint. And uh, I've marked them out so that the, they don't run into each other from either side and then I clamp the joint to compress it uh, as hard as I can and uh, so then I'll drill a pilot hole, use a little glue to hold them in place and we'll cut them off and pair them flush uh, later. I'm uh, gluing and nailing the uh, drawer frame, drawer runners to the uh, I used um, my flush cut saw to uh, saw up the pegs uh, and then uh, paired off the uh, additional with the paring chisel and then uh, lightly sanded it to uh, finish them off so that much is done. Well I've started to lay out the drawer so we got uh, 18 inches by 18 inches is what the uh, drawer is going to be and I've got some half inch stock in the back this is a three quarters of an inch uh, cut out that was part of the apron in the front so that's the front and back of it and then um, what I've done already these are the sides here and you can see that um, I've started to lay out the dovetails on the on the two sides and again it's just arbitrary I usually this is the bottom here um, and you have a groove in there for the bottom uh, to slide in from the back and usually I try to leave myself a half inch here because you have about a quarter inch underneath the drawer and then a quarter inch bottom for the drawer and uh, in this particular case it's uh, an awful small drawer so I only have three eighths of an inch so I'm either going to make the bottoms thinner or move them closer to the to the bottom edge uh, and then these are just arbitrary here to take up the rest of the space so these are three quarters of an inch and this is three sixteenths at the top and this is whatever is left over uh, will be chopped out so that's the top so we need to do this on both edge, both ends of the um, sides, and so uh, we'll get busy sawing them out right now. Chopping out the uh, dovetails now for the one and only drawer in this. thinner than uh, my bench chisels. And uh, Matt Carmel is uh, the only other one that I know who has them. But they're nice for cutting out dovetails. Well, I'm gluing up the uh, drawer now, so uh, after cutting the dovetails in the sides, of course, in the face in the back, um, I dry fitted it, and then uh, I had some leftover pine upstairs that I uh, milled to three eighths of an inch and glued up to make the uh, drawer bottom, and then, uh, of course, cut a groove in the sides uh, for the drawer bottom to, to slip in. So now I'm gluing it up, and uh, after that then I've got to cut a, a rabbit or rebate uh, 3 16 of an inch deep all the way around uh, the uh, front here so that I can 
uh, miter and attach the uh, cock beating so that it's flush. So um, I'm going to wait for it to dry, uh, to dry and then I'm going to cut that rabbit in there. I made some cock beating stock here out of uh, a piece of the curly maple and uh, what I did is I put uh, used my uh, beading the same beading bit that I put the bead on the bottom of the apron all the way around and uh, cut the bead on the board it was that thick to start with uh, obviously thicker yet and uh, so I'd run it through the router, put the bead on, and then uh, rip it off, rip off the piece, and then do it again. And uh, so I end up with three pieces here, and then I sanded it uh, to uh, clean up the burn marks and so forth on it. So it's slightly uh, less than uh, three sixteenths of an inch thick uh, after it's been sanded. So now. I've got to cut it this way uh, so that it overhangs the front of the uh, drawer front by uh, 3 30 seconds. So that's what I've done here is measure the drawer front plus uh, 3 30 seconds. And uh, so we'll want to rip it uh, there. So that's the next step. And then uh, eventually we're going to have to miter the, the dr them to the drawer front. Well, I've started to work on the cock beating that goes around the drawer. So what I did was uh, uh, cut a uh, three quarter inch rabbit all the way around the drawer. So the drawer front now is three quarters of an inch uh, wide and about three sixteenths of an inch uh, deep all the way around. As you can see there missing material there on the side as well as the top which uh, corresponds to the thickness of the uh, the cock beating so I've got the first one done so you can see the really small miter that there is there and then uh, this piece will go here and all you have to do is miter the front corner here and then remove the material behind so that it overlaps on the corner. So the corners are not mitered, just, just the showing pieces on the front here. So you work your way around so the side would be next, then the bottom, and then the far edge. And uh, you tape them in place as you go. So uh, this takes some time. Well, I finally got the uh, cock beating trimmed in onto the uh, drawer front here. It's not glued on yet, but I've got the tape holding it in place to make sure that the uh, miters are as close as I can get them. Uh, prior to gluing, so I think we're all set. I'm going to warm up some glue and uh, glue it on. So that's the next step. Well, the glue is dried on the cock beading that's around the drawer, and uh, it came out looking pretty good. And uh, what I did was uh, took some sandpaper here and sanded the, the corners. I planed the edges a little bit. Uh, to uh, get them flush on the sides and uh, sanded it down here and uh, so we gotta we're gonna try and fit it into the uh, the desk so I'll, well, that'll be next. well we'll see how well the the drawer fits now since we got the front on it looks pretty good And I think it's a, I gotta get some drawer stops either in the front or the back uh, so that it doesn't go in too far. But I think that's a, a pretty nice looking uh, feature to add to a drawer there, the cock beating. So now to work on the uh, top.